What's cracking? What's going on, everybody? Peace and love. Peace and love, you guys. You already know who this is. It's Isis Love, you guys. Some of you new to my channel, maybe you don't know. But thank you for tuning in. So it's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since I did a official live video, you guys. I literally um, just got back from touring in the Carolinas over the weekend. So i really just been resting, to be honest. But spirit has had, you know, as I've been traveling, I've been paying attention to things. My awareness has been popping. And spirit has been, sh been coming to me, sharing with me some things that I want to share with you guys today um, that really has took my life to another level. What's going on, you guys? Peace, peace. I miss y'all. So, uh, so as I travel, you know, I'm doing this money app tour, you guys. And um, as I travel, you know, all through Charlotte and Fayetteville and Greensboro and South Carolina, I, um, I started to notice a lot. And um, what I was noticing is spiritual wealth, you guys. Um, often when we think of wealth, when we think of prosperity, when we think about money, we just think about green stuff, right? We think about checks. We think about gold. Maybe some of us think about cryptocurrency. But spiritual wealth is very, very, very important to have because you can't have one without another. And when I say spiritual wealth, you guys, one second, there's like a dead squirrel in my chill spot. Like I'm in my neighborhood <laughs> and I come to this little chill spot and ironically, the cat's got a squirrel. All right, cool. So when I mean spiritual um, wealth, you guys, uh, wealth in your relationships, like think about how important relationships are, right? Think of how important your relationships are. When you have a healthy foundation, when you have people around you um, that are there to have your back, your front, and your side, um, that are encouraging you to be the best version of you, and it's harmonious, that's very important, right? That's that's abundance. That's wealth. And so I, I know the, the more we figure on, or the more we focus on wealth outside of it being um, money, the more we can see how rich we are, right? So take accountability of your relationships. Um, you know, ask yourself, the relationships that you have right now, are they healthy? How are they? How can you um, improve uh, within those relationships that you have, right? Because that's part of the, part of the I would say, the keys of, um, you know, spiritual wealth. And so, um, hey, what's going on? Peace, peace. So um, another thing that you want to focus on when you're focusing on spiritual wealth is um, your health, right? Like how, how healthy are you? Like how healthy are you uh, physically, right? Are you taking care of your body? Are you moving your body? We are predominantly water. So with that being said, we need to move our body. We need to move this energy, this fluid. Um, see, the body gets old when the body doesn't move. A lot of people don't think that I'm 31 years young. They think that I'm 20 or 18. And I tell them it's because I keep it moving. <laughs> I keep it moving and smiling. Um, and a lot of that plays... So um, just ask yourself, like, to be healthy is abundance. It's, it's, it's wealthy to be healthy because not only are you being healthy on your behalf, but you're also changing the, um, you're changing the structure of your DNA. Have you ever heard, oh, this and this runs in my family? Oh, sugar diabetes runs in my family, right? You ever heard that? No, if you believe it does, it does. But you could be the one in your generation to change that, to rewrite that story, because that's going to bring me into my next thing, right? So ask yourself right now, it's beyond the money. Ask yourself, is your wealth currency up? Like, how was that? How was your, 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 your wealth currency? Um, definitely ask yourself that, you guys. And then um, 
peace, y'all. Peace, peace. And so, you know, more importantly, to add to your health, you got your wealth, right? Um, you got your, the next one is, basically, it, it is your physical, your physical, it's your knowledge, right? Um, are you pouring into yourself and helping yourself grow and expand your brain? Because knowledge is the new currency. A lot of people are skeptical about a lot of things because they don't have the knowledge. But give people the right facts and they believe it. Let me give you an example. I don't watch sports, but I'm going to just give you all this example. And I don't know what teams is popping, so don't clown me when I say these teams. Let's just say we got the Bulls versus, I don't know, the Rockets. Right? And I'm telling you, the Bulls are going to win. The Bulls are going to win. And you're skeptical because you don't have enough information. you like, nah, I don't know. And then I tell you, well, guess what? The Bulls just took Michael, Kobe, LeBron, and, and two other top basketball players on their team. Um, and they're playing a game of 21. Right? So you may then start to change the way you thought when I said the Bulls versus the Rockets and you were skeptical about the game, but when I gave you a little bit more information on who was going to be on the team with the Bulls, you started to question. So the main point, and you may got to watch this video again so it hits you, because I'm not speaking to everybody. Not everybody is on, on, on this wave. We live in different dimensions within different realities, and I know that's hard for some people probably to really concept and it's okay right every i'm not here i'm not a debater that's one thing i never do like if you believe what you believe hey that's what you believe in right and if you rock with what i'm saying you rock with what i'm saying right so needless to say you guys um i just lost my train of thought so needless to say when you know a little bit more information it makes you feel safer it's the same thing with everything knowledge is the new currency because let me ask y'all this bitcoin started from a couple of cents here we are 2019 bitcoin just shot up again to i don't know i think the highest was 13,000. but last year is at 20,000. and do you believe that people are still skeptical thinking that bitcoin is not real thinking that it's not a real thing thinking that it's a scam thinking that it's a pyramid scheme only because they have lack of knowledge. They don't know. They don't bother to even find out to know. So, part of being spiritual wealthy is having knowledge. Right? Having healthy relationships. Right? And what was the third one, you guys? Because it's just flowing through me. Health. Right. So those are the keys and the factors to being able to have a fully harmonious, you know, um, wealthy, abundant life, because it does. It just doesn't start with money. I give you another example. When you start to balance yourself in those areas and you start to align your chakras and you start to hold on, let me show you connect with nature. Right. Connect with nature. Right? Because I'm a, you know, like you got to merge the spiritual and the literal. A lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs are so logical, right? They're just so logical. All they see is black and white. That's why they're always working, 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 grinding, grinding, grinding because they're not top inside of God mode. So when you operate in God mode and you're in line with nature, your relationships are healthy, you, your, your health is healthy. Right and your knowledge is right. You don't have to grind and you don't have to hustle. Why you gotta grind and hustle when you manifest what you want from your own energy? Right. So for too long, like I always say, for too long we've been in this very masculine dominant society. It's very patriarchal. It thinks one way. It's very, it's very like one step plus two step plus three step. Right. When in essence. Everything is beyond the physical. It happens in the spiritual before it happens in the physical. So with that being said, you guys, the more you connect with nature, the more you love thyself, that's going to bring me into the next thing that I'm speaking about is doubt and worry. 
when you love thyself know where you have came from know where your true lineage is know the queens and kings that run through your bloodline know the creator that created you you cannot live in faith and walk in fear right a lot of us live in faith in the heart but walk in fear with the mind and those two cannot walk together so how do you align your heart and your mind to both see faith right i hope you're writing this down because it's just coming through when you know that all things is possible to thee that believes all things that you believe in is possible all things that you believe will happen will happen i want y'all to really let that sink in right not a little bit of things not some things all things but the problem is we get too stuck with thinking too small. We don't believe that we're more than our nine to five jobs. We don't believe that we are the first generational millionaire in our family. Some of us do, some of us don't. But we have to believe bigger. Because when you know that all things are possible that they believe in, you know that anything can manifest with time and patience. See, what happens is we get so caught up with what we see in front of us with our physical eyes that we don't give our sense of self a chance to use our inner eyes to see what we're manifesting. Now, that might have went over some of your heads, and that's okay. Play this video back. So, the way to eliminate fear and doubt, and share this video. Go ahead and share this video because I'm about to break it down. I feel the spirit just really around me right now. In order to break through wary and fear, you have to paint a new picture on the canvas of your mind. Okay? Okay? Y'all follow me? Y'all, y'all follow me today because today we have in church on a Monday. If you're on your lunch break, you're going to catch the Holy Ghost, <laughs> right? So, you eliminate fear and doubt by knowing that all things are possible for thee that believe. All you have to do is believe, right? And then how do you do that? A practice you could do that is by imaginating, using your imagination, we have forgotten because we have became so logical, so patriarchal, right? We're in a very hyper-masculine society. These are facts. Look around you. Look who's in your conference offices. Look who's on the TV. Look who's calling the shots. I mean, chemically, women and men are structured differently in the mind. And it has nothing to do with women and men on the essence of gender. I'm talking about energy. Masculine and feminine energy works differently. And we all have access to tap into both. We just have to be balanced. And so right now it's hyper-masculine, meaning it's off the meters. It's not balanced because if it was balanced, things would be a lot different on this planet. Everything on this planet right now is off of war and fighting and ego and competition. Everything is competition. Who got the best team? Who got the biggest this? Who got the best this? Who drives the biggest car? Who drives the fastest car? It's all ego, 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 the biggest this. I call it dick measuring, right? So the moment we let go of that ego and we remember that all things are possible because we use our imagination, which is feminine energy, which is creativity, right? We start to remember that all things is possible because we are that powerful. Let me take it a step deeper. If y'all want me to take it a step deeper, I want y'all to comment another level. Really, really quick, I want y'all to comment another level 
in the chat bar if you want me to take it another step further. And if you feel me, I want you to comment in the comment bar 1111 and go ahead and share this video. So we're about to deep it, take it deeper. Now when you look at the word imagination, drop them fire signs. When you look at the word imagination... You can't help but look and think about the word meditation. Meditation and imagination are kissing cousins. They go hand in hand. Because meditation is not about just sitting there talking about something. You can eat alkaline all you want. You can be a fruitarian all you want. You can be a quote unquote vegan or vegetarian and do all of that stuff that you want to do. But if you are not using your imagination, and when you're meditating, if you're not visualiz visualizing and painting your canvas on what you want your life to manifest, it's, it don't matter how much alkaline food you eat. To be honest, you don't even need all of that. This is a freaking video game. Whatever you believe in, you believe in. If you believe that you got to eat all alkaline food and look at the sun all day, every day to live a long life, then hey, that's what it is for you. It's a video game. <laughs> it's a video game, right? So what we have to start doing is, because think about it, we use this superpower all day. We imagine and meditate on things that we don't want all day, every day. All day, every day. Think about it. Consciously. Be real with yourself. Real quick. Really, really quick. And if this has happened to you, raise your hand, right? Have you ever caught yourself thinking and imagining things that haven't even happened, but you was meditating, pondering, feeling, and thinking about it so much that it happened? Kissing cousins. Right? Think about it. This is church on a Monday. Spirit just coming through. I want y'all to really think what I just said. So if you can use your inner eyes, because right now we're using our outer eyes. Right now, we just looking at our present situation. We looking at what's going on right now. Nobody's signing up for our businesses. We still living paycheck to paycheck. We looking at the present moment because we're not looking with our inner eyes. But the moment you take that paintbrush and you use your inner eyes and you close your eyes and you start to become so obsessed with what you really want to manifest, I guarantee you that it's going to start to manifest. Let me take it a step deeper. Y'all want me to go a, a, a step deeper? I want y'all to drop 555 in the chat bar if y'all want me to take it a step deeper. I'm going to take it a step deeper for y'all. But I want y'all because we in here coding. We decoding the matrix. I'm telling you to drop these number frequencies here and here for a, for a reason. It's starting to trigger and set off certain things in people's brain. See, some of you may not get it now. But I guarantee that these subconscious plants that I'm planting in your seed is going to sprout out in your mind. And it's going to make sense to you later. Right? Because this is how this works. <laughs> it's a game. So, we're going to go another level. And I want y'all to use y'all imagination with me real quick. Real quick, real quick. Share this video if you're really feeling it. Share this video because somebody in your cipher needs to hear this message. So, if I told you to imagine, use your imagination with me right now. The Statue of Liberty. Close your eyes. Look at the Statue of Liberty in your mind. Do you see it? Sitting there tall and green. There's water surrounding it. Do you see the Statue of Liberty? If you see the Statue of Liberty, I want you to go ahead and I want you to see. I see it. Go ahead and put it in the comment bar. When I told you to look at the Statue of Liberty, did you see it? Here's the thing. I seen it, right? Here's the thing. You're not seeing it with your physical eyes. You're seeing it with your inner eyes. So just as easy as it was for you to paint the Statue of Liberty in the canvas of your inner mind, you could take that same power and, can't, and, and paint the canvas of what you want it to be. So if you see yourself in a situation where you want a brand new car, but by golly, you better see yourself in that brand new car. You better see yourself sitting behind it, the color, 
how you feel when you in the car, who beside you when you in the car, what outfit you got when you in your car, how you feel when you get out your car, how you look when you at the gas station when you pump your gas. You got to see it. And let me take it a step further for you because I'm telling you, spirit just coming through. Yes, 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 because we're all channels and we all can receive the divine message from spirit. You just got to get tapped in. Nobody's better than another. I'm no special spiritual guru. We are all the freaking same. You just got to tap in, right? So let's take it another step deeper. Now imagine if we had a picture of the Statue of Liberty in our hand. Right in front of our face. Right? That would take our painting of our canvas to another level. Because now we're seeing it with the physical eyes and we're using our inner eyes. Think about that. Think about that. See, I always tell y'all, and I got to say it over and over so it programs you that you understand. Somebody that controls your mind controls your time when you don't know how the mind works subconsciously ins and outs consciously people are going to manipulate you there's so many different spiritual gurus a lot of people out in different places out in a different some of y'all still following the whole nature boy movement because the minds is weak and i'm being dead up i'm not saying this to pick on anybody i'm a, a, a dark worker I bring the dark to the light you gotta go to the dark first before you get to the light some of y'all walking around here tell me I'm a light worker if you just a light worker I'm a little nervous right because we gotta have both sides right so you gotta bring that dark out to the light and with that being said people are controlling some people's minds and you can't be mad at them people over there in them islands with him they just don't have control over their mind He's a puppet master. He can manipulate the minds. That's how this works. Let's think about commercials. Commercials are manipulating people's mind. They know how people's emotions work. They know how uh, the subconscious mind works. They know how to paint the picture in your inner canvas to get you to buy stuff. Duh. It's a marketing strategy. But you won't know if you don't know how the mind works. So, when you turn on the TV, I don't have TV. But when I go to my mother's house and that TV is going, baby, are they programming some stuff? Commercial after commercial. Buy this, try this, get this, look at this, look at me, look at me, look at my hair, get this for my hair. Get this for your hair. Long, long lashing eyelashes. Shave your legs with this. Look at these new shoes. Check out this new watch. So then you start to associate wealth and abundance with material things. Oh man, they got the new beauty cream. I got to get it. Oh man. Oh man, I don't like my nose. I have to try this. Oh man. Oh man, look at all this stuff on TV. I have to try. TV commercials are the fastest way that the government is programming your mind with what they want you to buy. And this is how they pull on your emotions. They do a commercial with one of your favorite celebrities, one of your favorite stars, one of your trending artists. They put them on a commercial. Because, because you don't know how your mind works. you be like, oh my gosh, that's Beyonce on a Suave commercial? Well, if Beyonce's doing Suave, I'm going to do Suave too. <laughs> Woo, it's coming through today, y'all. I want y'all to really think about what I just said. So when you take control over your mind, that's why I can't understand why we got so many spiritual teachers. They can break the horoscope down from front to back, but they still broke in the mind. How that makes sense? How you going to be a spiritual guru talking about you healing people's chakra centers and i'm not trying to diss nobody i just want you to really think about that you cannot be working in faith and talking about you healing certain things but you broke in the mind and broke in the pockets how that work how it work when money is spiritual energy is currency is vibration is energy it never makes sense to me
<laughs> it never makes sense to me. <laughs> it don't make no sense. Right? So, start to break the code of the matrix. To my literally broken it. Because we can go so deep, but I don't, I, half of the stuff I don't even want to talk about online. Right, you're going to have to start coming to my events. I've been touring for five months now. I should have came to some of my events. Because some stuff, the revolution will not be televised. Don't tell everybody your every move. Right? So, you guys. I'm going to wrap this up with saying this. We are breaking the code of the financial matrix. We are changing the game when it comes to trading. Some of you guys have seen me went from A to pay, but you're still skeptical because you're believing too small. It's hard for you to believe that somebody can take 10 cent on a free cell phone app and grow their money. It's hard for you to believe that because you're believing too small. You're not going out and researching and seeing what this is about. You're just watching on the sideline, which makes no sense. You guys, <laughs> this is a game that you can win that. This is a game that you can win that. The game, the cheat codes is right in front of our face. Y'all remember Mortal Kombat? Back, back, X, X, up, down, left. It's the same thing with this reality. The news controls how the trades are going to do. We got apps that's going to tell us what the trades are going to do. It's a systematic system that everybody can participate on and learn how to grow their freaking money. That's what the rich and wealthy do. Why do y'all think? Come on now. Come on now. Stay with me. Stay with me. Why do y'all think there's only a small amount of people that are wealthy? I want y'all to really think about it. Because we don't, we did not realize that we can create our reality with our mind. We don't have enough faith in ourselves to even play the game. This is a video game, y'all. <laughs> I can't stress upon it a lot. So Spirit has told me that I have shared enough. I think I pretty much made the message really clear. Now, some of you guys are going to like this and, and feel me and agree. But it's still not going to click. Not yet. But it will. Right? But I say this. And I'm going to leave it for another video. But 2020 is coming up, you guys. And I'm not saying this to speak any type of fear. I'm saying this because I got the vision and the insight to see beyond what's currently going on to be able to see that there's a financial recession coming on. And anybody that knows about money and knows about finances and that's in that world can agree. Every 7 to 10 years there's a recession in this market. And you're either going to be the one that's going to plummet or you're going to be the one that's going to take over and have that sale. Because it's going to be a big old sale. And you either going to really fall behind. You think you live in paycheck to paycheck now? Bay, bay. When that recession hit, there's not going to be no paycheck. So I'm giving you a forewarning to get your shit together. We, when I say we, I mean shout out to my Generation 12 family. See, what Generation 12 mission is, our mission is to become the first generational millionaire in our bloodline so that we can release and free any type of lack of poverty mindset that may have been trickling in our bloodline 12 generations back so that we can pave the bloodline 12 generations forward with spiritual wealth, mind, body, and soul. Okay, so I advise you to get on the train. I advise you to stop just looking on the sidelines, talking about you going to do it soon. 
If $225 is too much for you to invest in yourself to learn how to make $225 a day, you need this the most. We're in 2019. $200 ain't shit. I'm being real with y'all. I keep it real. For me, you're never going to get bubble gums and, 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 and butterflies. You're going to get it straight up real. Right? If $100 is too much for you, you're in the wrong year. You might need to go back to year 2000. Year 2000, maybe, maybe. 200, 100 to $200 is too much, maybe. But we're in 2019. Okay, so let those nuggets sink in. Because if you really want to do better, you'll do better. All right, you guys. So if you like this video, go ahead, share it right now. Sharing is caring. If you stayed on here this long, you must have got some type of value. So just think about how many other people can get value. You guys, I'm doing a free webinar this Wednesday at 8 o'clock. I only have 15 slots left. If you and if you serious because I take my time value like I took a whole almost almost 45 minutes to download this message for y'all. So I very much take my time serious. I'm only looking for serious people. If you think $225 is too much for you, then don't get on my live webinar. Right? Because the webinar is free, but to get the technology is going to be $225. But I'm going to tell you all of the things that you get with that 225. So if you don't got it, maybe you don't need to be on this call, right? This is for people that see the vision, that's serious, and that's been watching my journey from A to pay. All right? So go ahead. If you want to join the webinar, just go ahead and type webinar in the comment bar or hit me up privately. If you're down in Atlanta, you guys, we're going to be doing Taco Tuesday every Tuesday for $5. I mean, <laughs> we're doing nothing but giving y'all value. Every Tuesday for $5 and a taco. You get to come meet per people that's doing it in person. Meet people who's making money in person so you can stop being scammy and scary. Right? And actually meet people. Feel the vibes. Vibes don't lie. And then you got the ability to make money on the spot. Like, what y'all doing? In Atlanta. In Arizona. In Fayetteville. In Las Vegas. In New York. We're all over. This is a global wave. If this wasn't real, why so many people doing it? No selling, no recruiting. Stop being scary. You don't have to sell. You don't have to recruit. Put tape on your mouth and still make money. It's a free cell phone app. You're learning a skill set. We teaching you the skill set. What is the problem? All right, you guys. So I'm about to walk back in my house. I'm just chilling. It's a Monday. No worries, no fears because I paint in my reality what I want to happen and you could do the same too because you're that damn powerful if you've been told that you're nothing I want you to know today that you are something you are everything you are everything in all possibilities all right you guys peace